look who's awake, sort of. Adi, are you ready for some good news? No answer. Are you ready for some good news? First up, scientists in Germany have developed a new way to fight cancer using sperm. No, your pure manly seed can't cure cancer, dude bro, so just take a seat. A team at Germany's Institute for Integrative Nanosciences has incorporated modified sperm into an innovative new drug delivery system. Sperm are soaked in an anti-cancer drug, then fitted with tiny harnesses. The harnesses contain iron, which allows the sperm to be steered magnetically as they swim. The sperm are directed to a tumor. The harness breaks away. The sperm instinctively burrows into the tumor, thus delivering the drug. This could turn out to be one of the most efficient drug delivery systems yet. Unlike bacteria, which have also been modified for this purpose, sperm don't multiply and proliferate, and they don't trigger an immune response that could interfere with the delivery of the drug. There's still work to be done here. The system has been shown to work with bull sperm, but hasn't been tested using human sperm, and more research is needed to ensure the discarded harnesses are safely broken down by the body following drug delivery. But if the system checks out as safe and effective for humans, it would be very good news for people afflicted with cancer and the doctors dedicated to treating them. Next up, moving from drug delivery to gene delivery, scientists in Austria have found a way to use a virus to repair a genetic defect responsible for hearing loss. A mutation in genes GJB2 and GJB6 is responsible for the most common form of congenital deafness in children. Researchers at the Medical University of Vienna have successfully used a modified adeno-associated virus, or AAV, to deliver genes that repair an animal model of this defect, which prevents hair cells, which are the auditory receptors in the inner ear, from functioning properly. The same AAV used for this treatment, called ANC80L65, has been used in other gene therapies targeting the liver and the retina. It was so effective in the animal model of the GJB2-GJB6 mutation that it restored not only the hair cells of the inner ear, but of the outer ear as well, which was a surprise to the researchers. Those outer ear hair cells have been difficult to reach using gene therapy. As always with stories like this, further research is needed before this treatment can be approved for human patients, but for now there is definitely cause for guarded optimism. The paper on this research is published in the journal Nature Biotechnology. And now you just give up and go back to sleep. Unbelievable. And finally, from gene delivery Back to drug delivery, researchers at Duke University and the Howard Hughes Medical Institute have developed a system capable of delivering drugs to specific cells in the brain. The system is called DART, or DART, which is an acronym for Drugs Acutely Restricted by Tethering. Hey, DART delivers drugs. DART drug. Anybody? No? I'm old and alone? Okay. Anyway. DART works by first tagging the desired neurons with an inert enzyme derived from a bacteria. The enzyme acts as a beacon, attracting and capturing the drug when it is administered. Because the drug is drawn only to the cells tagged with this enzyme, it can be administered in very low doses and still be effective. This technique could not only lead to better treatments for neurological diseases, but improved understanding of how diseases such as Parkinson's function by enabling researchers to deliver drugs only to specific types of neurons and study the results. The paper on DART is published in the journal Science. Turns out scientists make pretty good truck dispatchers. They modify sperm to deliver drugs to tumors. They modify a virus to deliver genes to correct a genetic defect that causes deafness. And they create a cellular homing beacon that ensures drugs are only delivered to the intended cells. That's the good news. Hey folks, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And by the way, if you do decide to like, share, subscribe, or become a patron, please do so quietly. I would hate for you to wake the cat.